Our next speaker, Jim Key. Never too late, never too late, Jim Key. The movie theater was quiet. The aroma of overpriced popcorn permeated the air. You settled in for the perfect family outing, and then it happened. The film that you were watching took a sudden emotional turn. You try to resist it, but you can't help it. And before you know it, your eyes begin to sweat. <laughs> You may not care that people see you crying in public, but the last time this happened to me, I was thankful the theater was dark. Until my lovely young daughter, who doesn't know it's okay to whisper, <laughs> pierced the darkness with, Are you crying? <laughs> Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, and anyone who's ever gotten misty at the movies, Never ignore inquisitive children. <laughs> the longer you do, the louder they get. In a matter of seconds, my daughter shouted, Why are you crying, Daddy? <laughs> when this happened, the movie that my family and I were watching was The Rookie. On the surface, it's a movie about the oldest rookie in professional baseball, but on a much deeper level. It's about reclaiming life's missed opportunities. When the movie ended and I realized what a great teaching opportunity I had, I turned to my two sons and I said, guys, what did you learn from this? Imagine how proud I was when my 16-year-old said, I learned that my dad cries at the movies. <laughs> My 12-year-old took the question and his well-being a bit more seriously. He said, I learned that it's never too late to follow your dreams. It's never too late to follow your dreams. Why does it sometimes take a child to remind us of that? It's because children are uninhibited dreamers. In fact, last year I was speaking to an elementary school assembly and I asked the question, if you could have any job in the world, what would it be? And one little guy said, ooh, ooh, to be the guy that rides on the back of the garbage truck. <laughs> Who knew? His passion was proof that he knew something many adults have forgotten. Dreaming is fun. It's natural. And it's necessary. Every notable accomplishment in human history began as a dream. Do you remember how you dreamed as a child? Back when we had this wonderful sense of innocence, we could gaze into the future and imagine all sorts of possibilities. Then we turn our focus to adulthood. And many of us find that by the time we actually get here, we hit a wall and we stop dreaming because we can't see past next week. Why? What happened? Somewhere along the way we learned a painful truth. We learned that failing to achieve our dreams hurts. We encounter critics who ridicule and crush our dreams and it hurts. And we hear an inner voice that says, please, no more. I can't take being hurt again. We convince ourselves that it's better to just give up those things and do what we're supposed to do instead of longing for what we were meant to do. Ladies and gentlemen, we were meant to dream. We were meant to dream. 
Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., one of the greatest dreamers of our age, said, the time is always right to do what is right. And that means that if it was right for us to dream as children, then it's just as right for us to dream as adults. The question is, do we have the courage to dream? I am privileged to know a remarkable teenage girl who does. Her name is Nicole. And you should know that Nicole is hearing impaired, she is vision impaired, and three years ago she survived a stroke. That's not fair. If anyone has the right to give up on dreams and just accept reality, she does. But instead, I've watched Nicole redefine reality, not according to her physical limitations, but according to the size of her dream. As part of that, two years ago, I watched her stand on a huge stage in front of almost 3,000 people and perform the sweetest song I've never heard. She sang it through sign language, and I didn't just see it. Deep inside, I felt it. Instead of hiding behind justifiable excuses, there she stood teaching me it's never too late to follow your dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you dream? Or is the better question, what did you dream and why did you stop? If you've ever let a dream slip away, I'm here to tell you, it's not too late. If you can summon the courage to overcome your circumstances and your experiences and your critics, your dream can live. Whether you dream of making beautiful music or not getting caught crying at the movies. If you dream of changing the world or riding on the back of a garbage truck. If you forget every word I've said today, it would thrill me if you remember this.